Hi, everybody. Welcome. Greetings to all the busy being better queens and kings. Hope all is well today while walking in your God-given power right where you are right now. My name is Jay. The name of my channel is Busy Being Better. Be inspired. Today's topic is, are your embarrassing moments really a big deal? Another embarrassing moment, we think, to add to the list of things you'll toss and turn about over this night or last night or the night before. But is it really a big deal? At the moment, the answer is yes. You do make your embarrassing moments a big deal, but don't let those negative thoughts haunt you forever. Let them serve as a learning opportunity that teaches you to get over embarrassments. Embarrassments create feelings of shame and they're normal, everybody has them. But it has us feeling guilty, shame, and sometimes fearful. Some people actually be fearful. If you're a shy person and easily embarrassed because you have, haven't overcome your shyness, even a lot of people that are introverts are like this too, you could also struggle with a social anxiety, a disorder like extreme embarrassment, anxiety, or the fear. You know, just don't be so fearful about it because, as I said, it's, it's part of life. The fear of, of embarrassing yourself, if you got walking around, oh, I'm so afraid I'm going to embarrass myself, I might fall, I might... No, no, don't, don't, don't live in that kind of bind. The fear of embarrassing yourself could limit your willingness to participate in social situations, ultimately harming your social health. Our brains process embarrassment like any other emotion. I know I've embarrassed myself. I laugh at it. I turn it into something funny. And you don't want to let a fear of embarrassment control your life. You want to banish those feelings of shame in a healthy, in a healthy way. You know, when you know how to stop embarrassments from taking over your life, you'll be more confident at work and learn how to better express your feelings. Some plans of action might seem pretty daunting at first, but adopting a growth mindset and being open to trying new strategies will help. But start out with strategies that are small and realistic and be kind to yourself. Laugh at it. Don't think it's so bad. Your first response might be to beat up on yourself. Beat up over what happened. Don't beat yourself over what happened. Treat yourself with kindness and compassion. And don't be too hard on yourself for making a mistake. And confront the situation. If you need to clean something up after an embarrassment moment, do it sooner rather than later. You'll feel better with some closure rather than knowing that you're avoiding it and have a laugh like i said earlier i just laugh about it have you ever thought that your embarrassing moments is funny remember to look for the positives if something's funny don't hold back your laughter it'll lighten the situation and make you feel better and take, as I say in almost every video, take those deep breaths in through your nose, 
Hold for five. Out through your mouth. You feel better right at the first one. Take those deep breaths. And if you slip up, if you, I know my slip up sometimes can, it can cause you to panic. You may worry about it. Try to slow things down and start with mindful that, as I said, that breathing. Right away, it will change everything you're feeling. And don't, and, and try to do your best. Don't let it get to you. Do your best to instill calm in your mind and body. And it, sometimes it helps to talk to friends. Family members make you feel more comfortable. You know who you can talk to. And listen to what advice people have to give. It might help you realize that your situ situation isn't the end of the world. Plus, it gives you the chance to laugh about it. Discuss the lesson, learn, and then move, move on. Move on. The worst thing to do after you've had an embarrassing moment is tear yourself down. It's not productive or useful to invalidate your feelings or undermine your abilities by negative self-talk like some people. Oh, I'm so stupid. I don't know why I even bothered. Everything I do ends up a failure. I should feel bad because others have it worse than I. I shouldn't feel bad because, you know, don't, you know, talk things to yourself that's going to help, not help you. And the great news is you're not alone with being embarrassed or having embarrassing moments. Everybody has them. Do you think you're the only person in the planet who has experienced embarrassment moments? No, 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 no. It happens to all of us and it, sometimes it happens more than you can even think to some people. Many people want to learn how to stop feeling embarrassed about the past. It's normal. It's, it is normal to feel embarrassed. That's, that's your right inside of the ballpark. But studies have found that Public self-consciousness, which is when we're very aware of being in the spotlight and feel easily distressed, is super common. It's super common among almost everybody, even the best of speakers. I don't know if you've ever had a Toastmasters class, but they'll tell you that right up front. But it's all about how we handle our embarrassing moments as observers. We feel embarrassed. You can feel it at any age. It happens regardless. And it's part of life, as I said earlier. It's part of life. The good news is that we can learn how to get over embarrassments and move on. That's the big thing you want to do. Everyone experiences and cope with embarrassments differently, though. But we don't have to do this alone. It can help us to talk to a good friend or a family member. But if your embarrassments cause social anxieties or hurt your mental health, speaking to a mental health professional is important if you feel that strongly about it. They'll help you use strategies that work for the individual situation that make you feel comfortable and safe. Regardless of the embarrassing situation you encounter, keep this in mind. We're all human beings who make mistakes, but none of them determines our self-worth. And But I've learned that there is a certain character that can be built from embarrassing yourself. If you can sit happy with embarrassments, there is not much else that can really get to you. That's true. Everything we experience in life is growth. Look at it from that perspective. 
it's growth in some way. Even the embarrassing moments. So just keep going while walking in your God-given power right where you are right now. Thanks so much to all the queens and kings who are watching. Thanks for your subscribing, your like in the videos, your support. All of it is growth to my channel, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Any newcomers, queens and kings joining for the first time tonight, you found the right channel. Like, share, comment, and let me know what you think. And if there are topics that you guys might want to talk about, let me know, and I will bring them to the front. Thanks so much to everyone. Peace. Love and blessings out to each and every one of you.